I don't care if it's like a Teletubbies reboot. If, you're, if you describe it like that, I want to make it. If fucking Dipsy Doodle or whatever the fuck their name is shows up, it's like, raw with all the stuff you just described, I'm in. Isn't it Dipsy Doodle? I don't know what they're fucking called. What is up guys? Welcome to Boss Level 8 where we make fun of movie critics. We watched The Nun, the fifth installment of the Conjuring series. Critics didn't like this at all. But I think audiences liked it. So we're just gonna have to see what this critic said about it. Take a look at their review. And then of course, in our very own fashion, make fun of them. So you're what? So you're... Ooh. Conjuring! Yeah. <laughs> uh, like a, an actual ghost thing happened while we were filming. Mom? There's my reaction. <laughs> that nun just really wants you to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button. And that's why it's so angry. Because some of you haven't yet. And also... Hell demon stuff. All right, let's look at Soren Anderson's review of The Nun. At one point in The Nun, a character is buried alive, entombed in a coffin, pounding and hollering, help, let me out. Um, yeah, that's happened before. We can't all kill Bill our way out of a coffin. <laughs> That'd be awesome if, if that happened in the movie. <laughs> and then there's people just like, did you just kill Bill his way out of a coffin in a Conjuring movie? I don't know if I should be like, this is bullshit, or this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. All I do know is, I'm watching it again, because I need to make the decision. That's kind of what it feels like to be in the theater with the nun, especially the let me out part. The only difference is, there's freaking lit up exit signs. Just go, just leave. Yeah, you felt like you were buried alive with very clearly marked exits that they let you know about before the movie even starts. Buried alive, huh? The most that's gonna happen is you're gonna have to say excuse me a few times. That's it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. At least you silenced your cell phone, asshole. <laughs> Entombed the audience is. Entombed, I say, in horror movie cliches. Curses. Oh wait, that wasn't your line. I thought no, you, that's... I thought you were making fun no, of No, I that. didn't make that line. That's in the thing. Oh. I read that. Oh. That's how dumb that was. <laughs> he didn't even know it was part of the thing. Grabby spectral hands burst up out of the ground or crash through locked doors. Dirge-like droning choral music dominates the soundtrack. Mood mist hangs heavy over unholy graveyards. Inky castle corridors are illuminated by a guttering torch and flickering candles. Heavy panic breathing prevails and widened eyes fearfully stare. That just makes me want to watch this really badly. Like, you just wrote the elevator pitch for this movie and I'm like, we're making this shit. We're making it. I don't care. Was it called The Nun? I don't really give a crap. Make it. What? Evil Nun? Horror movie? Whatever. I don't care if it's like a Teletubbies reboot. If, you're, if you describe it like that, I want to make it. If fucking Dipsy Doodle or whatever the fuck their name is shows up, it's like raw with all the stuff you just described, I'm in. Isn't it Dipsy Doodle? I don't know what they're fucking called. They're called nuns. <laughs> from start to finish, there's no relief from the oppressive onslaught. As for the title character, well, you've heard of the flying nun, Sally Field. We had to put parentheses, but also exclamation points. I always take parentheses as like a, this thing, you know what I mean? Where it was just like, you're just like, that guy over there, rude, who's like, <laughs> I think it's just to like, Give us information that we didn't have in a quiet manner without interrupting the sentence. You just forcefully interrupt the sentence. The singing nun, Toonful! Even the boxing nun, Archie McPhee! Now for your viewing pleasure comes the demon nun with blood-soaked fangs! What's interesting is this was in Conjuring 2. So it's not like it came out of nowhere. It's not like, what's the deal with this nun showing up? It's like, you showed up to see it. That's why you went. It's like if I went to a NASCAR event and was like, where's all the ballerinas? This is nonsense. Why are all these cars here? Nonsense. Nonsense. Shut up. Because uh, that's just going to be a bad pun situation. And that's a habit I'd like to break immediately. None jokes. Let's move on. Originally introduced in 2016's horror hit The Conjuring 2. So you knew. You knew. You saw it, you knew where it came from, and you're still like, what's up with this nun with the fangs? Scenes from which bookend the start and finish of this picture, the character developed a following and prompted the producers to make a prequel. This is it. Wow, how incredibly un unlightening. Yeah, that's, that's the word I'm gonna use. It's when you're not enlightening. 
<laughs> the demon haunts an imposing Romanian castle that looks as though Dracula's Transylvanian hideaway could be just down the road. Again, you are making me want to watch this. Also, it's just because it's in Romania and because it's a castle thing. I mean, it has all of the makings of something that Dracula would dwell in anyway. <laughs> Why does every house in New Zealand look like a hobbit would live in it? Because we don't understand New Zealand. We think it's Australia. Also, if any of you are watching from New Zealand or Australia, I'm sorry, or you thought that was really funny. I don't know who I offended there. To this spooky old pile, now housing an abbey, come a gruff-voiced exorcist named Father Burke, Damien Bitcher. Bitcher? Bitcher? Is that his name? Bashir? It's spelled bitcher. I'm saying bitcher. And a doughy novitiate named Sister Irene. Thaisa Farm Farmiga? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce any of these names and I, I don't feel like I should have to. Younger sister of Vera Farmiga. You're gonna make me pronounce her last name again? Whatever. Who starred in both Conjuring pictures. You, we got through it, right? Anywho, you could read the IMDB page. That's not why we're here. Let's see what he actually thought of the damn movie. Dispatched by the Vatican to investigate the circumstances of the suicide of a young nun at the Abbey, they quickly discover demonic doings afoot. Dun dun dun. Well, that, that was... Not, your, your elevator pitch is kind of turning into like, you know, the mystery machine in Scooby-Doo instead of what it was before, which sounded a lot more badass. Uh, Director Corin Hardy lards on the fright so relentlessly that the moments don't build to any sort of sustained narrative momentum. I guess. It's a pretty simple plot. I don't know what kind of narrative momentum you needed, to be perfectly honest. I don't know, with the other movies, with the Conjuring movies and Annabelle and all that stuff, like the plot's there, but it's fairly simple. Demonic thing. I'm in. Hesitant hands slowly pull back cloths covering shrouded figures to reveal, ah, looming in the shadows behind quailing interlopers are eek. It's all ah and eek and on and on. It's so choppy and predictable that it becomes laughable. Now it actually is Scooby-Doo. It went from like a really complex, interesting horror to an old Dracula film to Scooby-Doo really, really quickly. Um, we gotta work on your pitch, man. Is that because now I don't want to see this movie, I need to see this movie. Long before the nun is done, the audience may find itself thinking, Let me out! Yeah, you said that earlier when you were talking about the whole being in a coffin thing, when in reality, you're in an easily escapable theater. We discussed it. Oh, I got you. You bookended just like the movie bookended using the Conjuring 2 stuff. Way to insult a movie and then use its own tricks. That being said, what did you guys think of The Nun? We'd love to hear what you thought of the movie, if you've seen the movie, if you plan on seeing the movie, and especially what you thought of this guy's review. Also, tell us what movie we should do next. Put it down in the comments. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so that we can notify you every single time we have a new video out. Also, if you want to see another one from us, there are a couple on the screen that you can click or tap right now. And until we see you guys next time, geek out and game on.